Hello there, hope many of you are still relaxing and enjoying the holidays. Quite a few of you asked to see what I got for Christmas. I wasn't sure about filming it. I feel like these videos teeter somewhere between being fun to watch and being too materialistic, but I hope you'll take this in good faith as fellow beauty junkies and enjoy having a bit of a peek at some unboxing. Hopefully it might also give you some gift ideas for other occasions or for your personal wish list. I've used many of these products previously so I can give you proper reviews. The Dior Hydrolife Glow Better Fresh Jelly Mask was easily my favorite skincare item of 2017. It's a chemical and physical exfoliant. Apply for a few minutes and let the citrus fruit extracts give you a gentle peel, then scrub lightly with the tiny little apricot kernels before you wash it off. Christmas was well timed because I'd nearly finished my first pot. I don't think I've ever used anything that made my skin quite as glowy and fresh as this. And it smells delicious like apricots. Rave reviews galore and the tick of approval from Bella Hadid. After my skin has been freshened up, I'll hydrate it with the Gelique Rose Moisture Plus Moisturizing Cream Mask. I've been wanting to try this for a long time after reading that celebrity facialist Nicola Joss uses it in all of her treatments. She pampers famous faces like Meghan Markle, Gwyneth Paltrow, Giselle Bundchen, Kate Moss, Kate Winslet, Kate Blanchett, all of the Kates you'd want to look like, basically. Really looking forward to trying this out. By Terry Balm de Rose is a dream gift. The sort of luxury splurge that you might not be able to justify yourself, but would love to receive as a present or buy with a gift voucher. It might be one of the most famous lip balms in the world. And after a few uses, I believe the hype. Besides the heavenly rose scent, it feels slightly thick like a lip treatment and has been really hydrating. I'll go into more detail in a lip balm video very soon. And my RMS Beauty obsession continues with the Lip to Cheek in Beloved, a pretty poppy red that I dabbed onto my lips and cheeks on Christmas night for an easy red look that didn't need any maintenance mid-turkey. I've had a lot of requests to do an RMS brand review, definitely doing one, but I'm just waiting until their new Wild with Desire lipsticks are launched in Australia. Big Aesop fan and my relatives have clearly cottoned on. I always feel proud when I see their beautiful stores around the world, knowing that it started down under on one of the main streets of Melbourne. Their Geranium Leaf Body Cleanser is my favorite body wash. I love the soft geranium scent, foams really well and doesn't dry your skin out. Excited to give its sister product, the Geranium Leaf Body Scrub, a go-to. I've tried testers before and have been really impressed by how smooth your skin feels after a scrub with this gritty formula. I've always loved the hand wash from Aesop's Resurrection range. It's basically their signature citrus and woody scent. And now I have a little Resurrection aromatic hunt, <laughs> hunt balm, hand balm to try as well. This is really hydrating, but very absorbent, not sticky at all. Keep an eye out. If you have an Aesop store in your city, they often have this as a tester out the front. Some more Aussie pride here with Go To Skincare, another top brand out of Melbourne. If you haven't heard of Zoe Foster Blake, please look her up. She's probably our best beauty guru down under. A former beauty editor, author, and now skincare creator. I love this range, so I'm really glad I'm all stocked up again. The Properly Clean Face Wash is a super gentle, soft foaming cleanser. Exfoliating swipies are exactly that, a little chemical exfoliant pad that gives you a great glow. Very Useful Face Cream is a thick, super hydrating cream. You might have seen a worn out peach colored tube of it in my skincare routine video, but it now comes in this larger pot. And Super Handy Hand Cream, which is a fairly new release. So impressed by this. It smells lovely like orange blossom and it absolutely melts into your skin. More info on Aussie beauty brands coming up in a video next week. A few of you have asked to see my perfume collection, but this is kind of it. For years, I've only worn Red Roses by Jo Malone. I like having a signature scent and this subtle garden rose perfume attracts more compliments than anything else I've ever worn. But I also like Wild Bluebell these days. My mum must have been sick of me stealing hers, so she gave me this smaller bottle. And as I mentioned in my Meghan Markle makeup video, it's the Future Royals favorite scent. Finally, some Glossier bits and pieces one of my cousins very kindly brought back from New York for me. Stocking up on Priming Moisturizer Rich, one of my favorite hydrating smooth night moisturizers, and the regular Priming Moisturizer, my morning base every single day that keeps me hydrated and dewy. And a little something else that I'll be reviewing very soon. Finally got my hands on Glossier U, their first fragrance. Can't say too much, but my first impressions were A, I'm intrigued, and B, I think I like it. Hope you all had very happy holidays. I'd love to hear what sort of prezzies you gave and received and how you spent the day. I stayed in my pajamas until just before dinner, which was pretty perfect. <laughs> Nearly New Year's Eve and there's a special video on the way tomorrow. See you next time.